people always say the 90s were different from the styles, from the music, from the parties, the people, everything was different. No social media, the world felt real. Real singers, real MCs, real rappers, no autotune, people who could actually really perform. At that time, hip hop and R&B were on a whole nother level. Big numbers in R&B, big numbers in hip hop, big numbers in pop, every genre was winning. A lot of solo artists, a lot of male groups, a lot of female groups. The 90s were just different. Seduce was a group who came up in the 90s. It was an R&B duo with two members, Shania Abakrobi and Paula Asia Pierre Louise. Group were signed to the label East West Records. And like many other groups at that time, they try to build a fan base with their music to become big and huge worldwide and to become well-known artists. The first single they released was in 1995 with the title Don't Waste My Time, a laid-back R&B old-school song with a hip-hop swag. It peaked number 42 on the R&B and hip-hop single charts. Buddy Nocken was the second single for the album. It did not chart on the charts. The self-titled debut album peaked at number 79 on the top R&B and hip-hop album charts. They performed in several locations, but after that they disappeared from the scene. The album was not bad, it was a typical R&B album. The single Don't Waste My Time stood a little bit more out than the other songs from the album. The reason why the label did not keep supporting the group is not known, but both of the girls could sing, they looked good and they did good music. They had the potential to become bigger because their album again sounded good. In the 90s we had a lot of girl groups out there but at the same time a lot of duos, a lot of girl groups, most of them were doing great. It was not competition needed because everybody had their own space. But I just think the label expected them to do better and to do more and that's the reason why they did not support them as much. Songs like Don't Waste My Time or Body Knocking were not performed in shows where they needed to perform the songs to promote that. I think a lot of people did not even know that the group existed so they did the best they could do but it did not work out. But Seduce was not the only act they did not support. They had people like Champ MC, Michael Speaks, Billy Lawrence and more. Seduce was a mix between Faith Evans, Alia, Mary J. Blige and Monica. I hope you liked the video when yes leave me a thumb up, subscribe. To not miss any other videos leave me a comment and if you want to know what happened to the group KAT that Candy Burst and Tiny Harris created and how they end up giving their song No Scrub to TLC, then watch now the next video. We see each other next time. Bye.